It's a theatrical shop of horrors, and the curtain went up this month on the nightmare-inducing performance. Haunted attractions are now a billion-dollar industry in this country, and a central Iowa man is bringing the terror home. Channel 13's Mike DeSilva shows us what goes into giving people a good scare. There's nothing like the feeling of stalking someone down a corridor and then creeping up on them the last second and then just scaring the life out of them. But they pay for that, so that's what they want. And there are lots of people willing to pay to be scared. In our world that is completely inundated with technology, I think that there's a huge separation between reality and, uh, and the technological realm and virtual reality, if you will. And so an attraction gives you that experience to actually get immersed in something and actually experience something on a tangible level. It's been Ian Miller's lifelong dream to create a high caliber haunted attraction. He calls the slaughterhouse a nightmare come true. A good caliber haunted attraction includes a narrative um, that works as a storyline so that you feel completely immersed in the environment from beginning to end and even aside from the experience of the attraction itself. And then of course inside the attraction. All right, Think so. Hollywood style props and set decorations. It's an art form. All areas of artistry are involved in the creation of a haunted attraction. It's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm so drawn to it personally. Um, I get all my fixes in the attraction. So everything from painting and set deck to acting and costuming um, to design and whatnot. Actors improvise their performances. You gotta have a special kind of talent to do it. I mean, there has to be a deep, dark part of, you know, that's inside you that can, you know, contains all this stuff to push it out and you gotta give it your all. I mean, you can't slow down, you can't stop, you gotta, you gotta work at it just instantly. Well, you get a lot of different reactions because it's, it's more audience oriented than, say, Rescripted stage performances. There's a lot of improv. You have to go into character development. It's live art. It's projected. You'll never get the same thing twice. Mike DeSilva, Channel 13 News.